hey guys, uh, you do this enough times, you have enough takes, you start to figure out what works and what doesn't work. <laughs> All right, uh, for tomorrow's workout, we have gravity. Gravity is uh, five rounds for time. You've got 80 double unders or 80 jumping jacks. Uh, a lot of times we like to do jump hops. Um, you can do those as well. Uh, whatever gets the heart rate up and moving, okay? Uh, after that, you've got 40 sit-ups. Uh, when you want to do your sit-ups, you want to keep your feet butterfly. Reach behind you. Make, your, make sure your hands hit the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> come up. Get that shoulder past your hip crease. I just like to come up and touch my toes. Go back. Hit the floor. Touch your toes. Come up. Hit the floor. Touch your toes. Okay? After that, you've got 20 push-ups. When you do your push-ups, make sure you keep your core nice and tight. If your core is tight, you can get your butt tight. If your butt's tight, your core is tight. They're connected. Okay? Keep your feet together. <clears throat> Elbows at a 45 degree angle. Down, chest up to the ground. All the way up at full extension. Okay? Even if you're on your knees, if your butt's tight, your body will stay in a nice tight plank position the entire time. Okay? Last, if you're on your toes, you can drop yourself all the way to the floor and peel yourself up if you need to as well. Okay? You can also do that from your knees, but remember guys, you're not trying to get your elbows out here. You want to keep them at a 45 degree angle. So I keep the V of my hand going straight out in front of my body and I keep my hands at my chest, not my shoulders. All right, if the shoulders, too much tension in the elbow can lead to bad tendonitis in those elbows, okay? So driving your arms through the floor, kind of like when you squat, you gain tension by driving them through the floor. Same thing with your hands, okay? After that, you've got 10 reverse burpees. Reverse burpee is Standing up at the top of the movement, you're going to keep your feet together. You're going to roll back, keep your he heels up to the sky, and then bring right back down to the floor and drive your body through your knees when you stand up. And try to get some more room here. So you go back, heels up, bring them back down to your butt, drive them through, and then a little jump at the top. All right, if that's too difficult, grab something, a plate, a counterbalance, weight, something. Go back, hit the floor with it, drive that through the knees, and then stand. All right, give it a shot. Five rounds of time. Let me know how you guys are doing. Please check into Waterfly. All right, log your workouts. It makes everybody accountable. It sees it. Everybody sees that you're doing it. You can inspire others. Because I know there's other people out there who need your inspiration, whether they work out with us at Synergy or not. Um, send the workout out. Share it with your friends and family. These are movements you don't you don't have to have a PhD in CrossFit to know how to do jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups, and reverse burpees. And if rever reverse burpees are too hard, just do regular burpees. It's going to be a little bit more like your push-ups, but you know. More work is better than not enough. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all next time.